Welcome back to South Korea. In today's video, we explore more of Seoul, including some of its beautiful palaces and one of its traditional Hanok villages, as well as trying street food at Gwangjang Market. But first, we need to get there, so we're off to the subway to top up our T-Money travel cards. We've mostly been using the subway to get around. We're like a two minute walk from the subway station in our hotel. And it's really easy and convenient to use the subway. So, so this is how you reload your card. Put your transit card on the reload place. Select the amount. It's 1,000 won per journey. You have to use cash. You can't use card. And then it will reload your card. Please remove the card once all loading is complete. And voila. All loading has been completed. Take the traffic card and, and change. We can go. Here it costs just over 1,001 per journey, it seems. About yes, 1,100 1, on average. Reserve storage. So that's the little chin that plays when the subs are out. Subway's about to arrive. It's quiet. It's Saturday now, so. The underground no. subway. The underground subway. Under tree. Hmm. I'm staying in the lab. Is it here? chilled morning this morning uh, and we've come to this place for brunch. Phil's excited because he found a gluten-free and vegan bakery called Sunny Bread. So we've come here for some gluten-free vegan waffles. Mm. Basically I've got everything on it. I've got cream, I've got marshmallows, I've got cranberry, I've got chocolate, I've got pancake. Vegan. Pancakes are... Because they have condensed milk, vegan condensed milk, mm. vegan whipped cream. Very channel for me, and what did you get? Pumpkin spice latte. Yep. We've come to the two palaces, Changgongun and Jangdokgun. Um, and if you hire the hanbok, which is the traditional clothing, you get in the palaces for free. Uh, so we've hired them for two hours, and those two palaces are right next to each other, so we're able to just walk between them and they just wave us in, we don't need to have tickets. So that's pretty cool. And also, you get to feel like a princess walking around the palace. This is the shop where we're hiring the handbok from and it's literally right opposite from the palace entrance, like a two minute walk, just cross the road and then it's on the left. Yeah, on third, the third floor. Third floor. What do you think of your traditional clothing, Phil? It's cozy. It's quite comfortable. <laughs> yeah? It's quite blue spitting. Keeps you warm. Yeah. How about the hat? I don't like the hat. Mm. Because it's like, just sits around the top of my head. It's just awkward. And I'm not a hat person. Yeah. I've got too much hair for a hat. <laughs>
be wondering, are we not cold in these outfits? Well, actually, we've got our regular jeans and everything on underneath and our tops. And Phil lent me his gloves to keep my hands warm and my scarf. So it's actually quite nice. It gives you a good layer of um, insulation having this kind of wide skirt with a hoop underneath it. And I think it's quite atmospheric being here in the winter with the ice on the ponds and the snow on the ground. I think it's really nice. So many delicious smells as you're walking along the street. Mm, that's good food. So we've walked up to Bukchon Hanok village, about a 15 minute walk from the palaces and it's a traditional part of the city which still has the traditional buildings people lived in hundreds of years ago but people still live there to this day. we were feeling hungry, so the last stop of the day was Guangzhou Food Market. This is a mung bean pancake. Mm. So it seems that it's uh, gluten free, so and they've given us some onions with it. Phil found a gluten-free rice snack. Ooh, what's it like? Like a, like a giant what's it. A giant what's it. So it's not sweet. Hmm. Interesting. Join us for the final video in our South Korea series where we explore Myeongdong shopping street and share our travel home experience. See you there.